assalamu alaikum like always uh, starting with the name of almighty allah in this video we'll learn that how we can perform the specific gravity test of soil first of all we'll have some knowledge about the apparatus that is required to perform this test and here you can see the volumetric flask of 250 ml then we need the funnel just to pour the soil and then wash bottles soil sample a dried oven dried soil sample and it must be the passing of sieve number four then a cylinder that is containing a water china dish and scoop and a cleaning cloth next thing is uh, the balances which are used to weigh the soil sample and hot plate that will be used to boil the soil sample in the later stages we'll get to know why we need to boil our soil sample so here you can see the in the first step we'll note down the weight of the flask so we have marked the flask and this one is uh, flask number three and we'll just weight it using the balance and weight of the flask comes out to be 101.6 gram now another flask flask number five and we'll weight it down on the balance and the weight of the flask comes out to be 92.3 grams we'll note it down on our sheet in the next step we'll just weigh down the uh, china dish because we'll have to measure the soil sample and these are the guidelines from the astm standards that how much soil sample is required to perform the soil sample based on the soil type and uh, and the condition of the soil so here you can see we can use 35 plus minus 5 gram of soil for silt or clay since our soil is of silt or clay or silty clay so we'll be taking 35 plus minus 5 gram of soil oven dried soil sample so here is the oven dried soil sample so we'll be taking almost 35 to 40 gram of soil sample we'll have to weight it So here you can see the weight of the oven dried soil sample is 39.2 and the weight of the china dish is not included because before measuring it we just steered the balance and this weight does not include the weight of the china dish now we'll pour the soil sample into the flask using the funnel now you can see all uh, the soil mass that is 39.2 gram has been poured into the flask now we'll repeat the same procedure for another flask we, because we'll be performing two trials at the same time and we'll be taking the average value of specific gravity and here you can see the weight of the soil sample comes out to be 40.9 gram and that will be placed in another flask now we'll note down the flask plus uh, weight of the flask plus dry soil and it comes out to be 140.4 gram for flask number three so you must note it down that if there is a uh, difference between the mass of flask and uh, the uh, mass of flask plus oven dry soil sample and as we know that uh, the mass of dry cell must be 35 plus minus 5 so it should not contradict so if there is a difference between the masses then it means you might have uh, performed some human error now we'll note down the weight of floss plus soil for flask number three uh, five that is trial number two it comes out to be a 133.2 gram in the next step now we'll add distilled water into the volumetric flask 
So, uh, how we can make the slurry and from the ASTM standard, you can see that add water until the water level is between 1 over 3 and 1 by 2 of depth of the main body of the pycnometer. So, it's these are the guidelines. So, you can, you can uh, follow these guidelines to uh, fill the water, then you need to agitate it. So up to this mark, volume of the flask is 250 ml. At this stage, we need not to add the water up to 250 ml. So we'll adding the water up to 1 by 2 means half of the depth or you can see the 2 by 3 as well. So we'll be adding this much amount of water in the initial stages as mentioned in the guidelines of the uh, ASTM standard. Similarly, we'll, uh, we will perform the same procedure for another flask. Flask. Now, we have to prepare the slurry by agitating the flask so that, uh, the, uh, the, uh, so, so that uh, slurry is formed and same procedure will uh, perform for both the flasks. Now, we have to remove the and trapped air or air bubbles from this uh, slurry. So we can perform two methods as mentioned in the uh, ASTM standard. One, one of them is entrapped air removal and the another method is the hot plate or Bunsen burner. So we'll be using hot plate method, hot plate or heating method to remove the air bubbles. So now we'll heat, heat up the soil sample by placing the flask uh, on the hot plate now we'll let all the two flasks to boil and during the boiling process we'll keep on agitating the uh, soil sample. So we need to be careful while agitating the uh, soil samples we have to use the gloves for that purpose. Now after some time you will observe the boiling process uh, will be started after some time. So you will keep on observing this situation. Now you can see the boiling process has been started and now you, you have to agitate uh, continuously. Now after the boiling process has been completed, now you will give them a little bit time to uh, let them cool basically. So let them cool until the temperature reaches to the room temperature. So now you have to add the water up to the 250 ml mark. Now you need to fill the uh, volumetric flask up to the 250 ml mark. So for every uh, flask there is a mark up till 250 ml. Now you need down, uh, you, now you need to note down the temperature of the uh, soil mass and then in the end you need to note down the weight of flask plus water plus soil and for flask number 3 it comes out to be 373 and for flask number 5 it comes out to be 367.2 gram. Now, now in the next step you need to note down the weight of flask plus water. So here you can see the weight of water plus flask for flask number 3 and 5 respectively. So now we'll perform the calculations to determine the specific gravity of the soil. This formula you can use to determine the specific gravity of the soil and we computed specific gravity of soil 2.62 to 2.61. So this is how you can measure the specific gravity. Thank you for watching. Keep on subscribing, share the channel. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.